Welcome back everybody. So behind me, right here in this box, is the LG 43UD79-B. Bad naming scheme, but this is an awesome 43 inch 4K monitor. A 43 inch diagonal 16 by 9 4K monitor. So they sent it over, it's in the box, I'm gonna take it out, put it on the desk, and see just how practical a monitor at that size is. Cause yes, 4K is a high enough resolution to be good for a monitor at the 43 inch screen size, but is it too big to be used on a desk? We will find out. A little context on this one. So LG reached out to me and when I first saw 43 inches, I kind of thought it was an ultra wide because they've sent a few ultra wides in the past and I thought they would just get bigger into a 43 inch ultra wide, but I read into it, saw that it was a regular 16 by nine inch 43 inch 4K monitor. I was extremely excited. So of course I was like, absolutely send it over. Let me get my hands on that. So it's now in the box behind me. And with that said, it's time to unbox it. All right, so this is what we are working with. This is everything that was in the box. We have, of course, the 43-inch display itself right up there. Now it can't focus because it's just blank screen. Uh, it is a little bit thick. It's got some thickness to it, but uh, it's okay because it is a very powerful monitor. That right there, that is a cover for the VESA area on the back. We have two different HDMI cables, and I'll talk a little bit more about those later. There's some cool stuff going on there power cable. It even comes with a remote, which makes it seem more like a TV, even though it's definitely a monitor. Uh, there is a little cable management tool, a few screws for installation, either for VESA or for the stand. I'll find out shortly. A USB-C to USB, a little adapter. Now, they didn't include a USB-C cable, which I'm a little upset about. However, I do have one on hand, so that's no problem. Then we have the base of the stand and the actual arm part of the stand that goes into the back of the monitor. Oh, and then there's instructions over here on the floor. So we're gonna take all that, bring it over here to this desk, it's way overexposed, and set it up. All right, so I brought everything over here and you can already see that the monitor itself is literally like longer or taller than the desk is deep. So that's, this is gonna be interesting. And it almost fits the entire width of the desk as well. So when it's up there, it's gonna really dominate this desk. So I have all the components here. I'm just gonna see how it all fits together. I'm gonna put this on first. And that's Garrett. Hey everybody. That looks really cool. Granite is huge, and you can see, I'll give you a little side of you right here. It takes up, it takes up almost half the width of the desk. So it definitely limits what you're able to do with the desk. Like I'm gonna plug my laptop in and have it there. That's gonna be taking up almost the entire desk. Granted, once I get actual peripherals uh, just to be there, it'll be a little bit better. But you, if you get this, you're definitely gonna need a deeper desk. That is a huge monitor. So this is what it looks like turned on, plugged in and everything. Unfortunately, the USB-C cable I had was very short. So you can see my laptop back there kind of dangling, won't keep it there for long. One of the cool things with this monitor is that it has four different HDMI imports, uh, inputs, so you can put four different devices plugged into it, and it'll play in each corner of the screen, and each of those corners will be a 21.5 inch 1080p monitor, which is absolutely insane. So if you have a need for something like that, then it gives a whole nother level of practicality to this. But I'll be honest, with a desk size this big, it's a little too big. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like when I'm seated just at a normal distance as if I was typing on peripherals right here. And this is huge right in front of me. Not only does it not have height adjustment in it, it can tilt and stuff, but this is just a massive display. I have to look all the way to that corner to see what's in that corner, move my head to look in that corner, on oh, corners. Granted, I think a lot of that has to do with the desk size. I think if we had a bigger desk here uh, and it was further back, it would be a lot better. Maybe I'll end up wall mounting it. That might be a thing, uh, which would make it more comfortable in that sense. But at face value, it's a little too big for a typical desk setup. That doesn't mean if you plan around it, it would be bad, but for a, you can't just buy it and throw it on your desk and expect it to work like your normal monitor. I did load up a Safari tab right there. So you can't see it that closely on the camera, but the scaling is done very well. It's super sharp and crisp, and I can read it very easily. This is a Verge uh, article. I just pulled it up for the text. But it is actually a very comfortable size, and of course you can mess with that. But I, I definitely dig the scaling. It looks really sharp. It's a really beautiful display. 
And that leads me to my conclusion. This is an awesome monitor and I'm building a setup here in actually I think it will be the next video you see on this channel and I will be building it around this monitor. So I'm, I'm thinking of a lot of things. I'm thinking I'll wall mount it uh, so it's a little bit further away. My thought is if you plan your setup around a monitor like this, it's going to have a really spectacular effect and I'm looking forward to actually trying that and seeing how well it pans out in reality because I think such a unique monitor like this shouldn't be treated like a normal monitor. You really should give it the extra attention uh, and, and put the work in to build the setup around it. I mean, it is a beautiful centerpiece of a setup. The price tag on it is $700, which might at first seem like a lot, but if you look at some of the big ultra wides that are like $1,000 and almost $1,500, $700 for a giant 43-inch 4K monitor that can also double as a TV easily double as a TV, that's not a bad deal at all. I fully support this product and I'm really looking forward to seeing if when I put it on the wall and I build a setup around it, if it can actually work effectively and practically as a workstation and a, and a place to get work done and have real functionality. So stay tuned for that. That'll come in a week, maybe a little bit less. We'll see about that. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay classy. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. Hey everybody.